What's going on? Um, yo, there is. I was mowing a bit this morning. Mowed a little yesterday. A second cut, um, and then I came and wanted to wash off this, get all the seeds. Um, mowed through some wet ground that was still first cut and pretty weedy. But as I was looking in here, we have a wasp nest in there. I don't know if you can see, but. It's big and I don't want to mess with that so like you know later on once we get uh, working on it um, so yeah I'm gonna get some spray spray that stuff um, I might keep mowing I might try to mow and then I'll go home and get that spray in a minute um, but yeah that that's a little sketch we did give the uh, calves a bit more room um, so now they actually have all the way back to there. So as you can see, now they have a running runway. Um, yeah. So, they're living it up. Um, we have had a little bit of scouring out of, uh, Lady here. Um, she has still been eating, drinking fine. Um, they are starting to nibble on grain, you know, five and a half, a little older. Um, try to... Get them to munch on some green when they suck on your fingers. Um, but yeah, so uh, we haven't treated, we've given her a little electrolytes. Um, you know, she does seem a little on the skinnier side, um, you know, especially right before, uh, before we feed her. Um, I mean, she drinks all her milk and electrolytes down good and. Um, See if that kind of, I don't know if it's just because she's, she was born July 4th and we moved her, you know, when a week or two weeks after, you know, she calved or was born. Um, so could just be that stress. Um, I've been, we did also clean out the barn. Um, barn cleaner still works, so that's good. Um, so we did have fresh bedding. We tried to clean it out. If there wasn't anything lime it. Uh, try to neutralize some things. Besides that, we've kind of been getting ready to uh, do a sunflower patch. Um, we'll show you guys that uh, in a little bit. That's coming along. Uh, we were kind of thinking it was going to hopefully be ready next weekend. Oh, that's kind of what the plan was. But, you know, I, figured, I don't know if you can see out there a little sunflower. You can start to see all of the yellow. It's it's coming, so we adjusted it on online to you know be this weekend because next weekend they'll all be matured and flowered out, and um, we're just doing the patch. We're not having any like event or anything, uh, or like any people come to the event. Um, and we had some people. I think we had like a face painter reach out and be like, "Oh, we want a face paint out here." We're like, well, we're just gonna do sunflowers this year. See how it how it goes on that end. Um, no, so that's that. It's finally happening. Our sunflower field is flowering. And so it is Thursday. We are set to open our field on Saturday at 11, I believe. <laughs> um, so Alex, uh, he drove the mower down, the other mower down here, um, but apparently he cannot get off because it's been being, I guess, it's always been jump-started because I guess someone does not, I don't know, I don't know. 
but he's uh Mowing, it's mowing nice, but so we've got you know, they're all flowering, not all of them, but they've all got pretty good heads on them. So by Saturday, a lot of these, most of them will be open, which is so exciting. Um, so we're just kind of getting everything set up. We're going to be putting our, we're going to be putting up some sort of like fence line just so people know, like. You're not allowed to walk here, don't go over here. We're gonna be blocking off our pumpkin section so that nobody goes over there and, you know, picks any pumpkins. And yeah, very excited. Alex, I think he's gonna be mowing down these rows too, just cause they're pretty wide. Um, these have been getting pretty deer, uh, hit by the deer pretty hard. Like this is done for, it's not gonna get anything. This one's coming, looks nice. That's what I think the sunflower heads are just so cool. Especially like right before they flower, like open up all the way, they're really cool. But a lot of the stuff like this, you know, this was our decorative corn coming in. That's not gonna come in because the deer have destroyed it. So, and this is where we put um, some of our specialty sunflowers. But there he goes, it's ripping. Hopefully we can get it done quick. It's not too hot today, so that's good. Um, there's not like any sun, so, you know, it's pretty good. I think later I'm gonna fly over, maybe tomorrow or maybe Saturday, you know, when we have like a bunch of people here, hopefully. I'll either myself or I'll have Alex fly the drone <laughs> just to like show how many people are here and see how the field looks. I also bought um, two packs of 30 pruners, <laughs> so like that's nice. So nice, very, very nice. Then we got the specialty ones down there, they're like really dark ones. But yeah, hopefully it goes well. All right, so Alex got it all mowed. Um, I set up all these, all the stakes uh, and then we went back around and pounded them in. Um, Alex is in there somewhere. Oh, I think I see him. <laughs> I see him. <laughs> just, just for reference, Alex is 6'7". <laughs> so we got stakes along both sides of this so people will park in here and then you know come in um yeah Alex just grabbed some sunflowers we're gonna put some on the stand very exciting and yeah hopefully we're we're almost ready for Saturday almost so uh we're out here, we're fixing the float for the water tank for the cows. Uh, the old one, the threads had popped out over winter um, when, uh, you know, it froze. Um, we got these Rubbermaid um, floats. Uh, they bolt nicely to the tank, but they're a little more expensive. I think, I forget how much it was, was it like 43, 50 bucks almost, maybe. Uh, whereas the, you know, metal cheap ones were like 20 bucks. But anyways, we got it. Um, I like the old one, um, but what we do is we take the hose adapter and I have it just plumbed right in. And I have this quick connect so that we can in the winter time disconnect it, but um, yeah, it doesn't always get disconnected. So anyways, uh, yeah, it just bolts. What? Well, I forgot I gotta get the bolt through. Oh, you can slide it in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so I bolts right. <laughs> that was a little. Uh, Oh, because we can't screw it. Screw it. Screw it. It won't make it. Anyways. Um, yeah, no. So make sure you secure it to your... Hmm. We got it plumbed right in so it makes it easier on the watering. We have it all set up inside. Um, and where's the other, the other bolt? I gave it to you. What? They're oh, both wow. in there. Oh, it's in there. That's crazy. I'm losing it. I need help. There's one, there's two. Skip a wee diddly doo. Um, but yeah, no, it bolts right in here. 
Uh, this is a Rubbermaid tank, so, you know, it's probably made for it. If I take a wild guess, somebody probably took some measurements and was like, oh, this is, this is how big it should be. Fit over the lip. Ah, oh no, the washer is not. Uh, last time I think we pulled it out and it was a lot easier, so. We're yelling more agile. We got it going. Well, not going yet, but it's all set. You want to turn it on? Here's the first. It works. It's pretty straightforward. The real test is if it leaks or not. Water comes up. Nothing. I think we're set. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so now we won't be wasting water. I mean, irrigating. Growing grass. Growing grass. Concrete. Yeah, on the concrete and irrigating uh, across the way. But that's how we had such good yields on second cut in that field. So maybe we should start irrigating more. Anyways, we're in New York. We don't. Don't need irrigation for sure. So. Now that's good, so we won't overflow. It's nice. So. Oh look, the babies are both eating grain. <laughs> Some people don't like to give them grain early. I think um, the quicker they get on grain. I actually don't like the milk replacer things. It's like after three weeks, it's like you can wean them off. Or I, I could. I'm, I might be mistaken yeah. if they're eating three pounds of grain. So, yeah, it's like once they eat three pounds of grain, you know, then they're, then they're good. We still like to feed them out for three months. Unless um, their name is Periwinkle and they literally refuse. Yeah, some of them, um, we do have the, you know, free choice water buckets that are set and uh, we fill up and they get used to that using the water buckets. Um, and if they are eating three pounds of grain and drinking water, some of them just stop drinking milk. So they wean themselves, which I'm not going to complain because... Milk replacer is a little expensive, so. That June 1st calf is already eating hay. Yeah, so um, already eating hay, which that can you know be debated on their developmental stages, but I think if they're eating it, it's like, you know, that's kind of what they want. But could be debated by all the veterinarians and whatever, so. Anyways, yeah, this is the one little piece that came with a Rubbermaid float. Uh, this is a pipe thread to like a garden hose thread adapter, so that can come in handy often, so. We're gonna put that somewhere that is handy. And yeah, besides that, tomorrow we're gonna finish getting the sunflower set up. Uh, I think we're just gonna tet out the hay. Um, and then, yeah, there's some, yeah, not too much tomorrow, but then Saturday I think we'll be ready to uh, bale, um, which is also, our start of the sunflower patch so we should be uh, all set up to go well not all set up but tomorrow it's, we'll be yeah all set tomorrow up. we'll get all the st other stuff set up um we're also gonna have like a bouquet bar um and it's i'm so excited yeah i've been wanting to do a bouquet bar for so long but like with our like setup of the farm there's just like nowhere to yeah, do it to have people a... park and there's just no yeah. way to do it but now we can do it over there yep. even after the sunflowers are done sad well don't crush my dreams well we can just limited more time yeah. anyways massey's still broken um but yeah so we're gonna do all that uh get that all set i think we're just gonna use the flatbed wagon and uh yeah hopefully the white truck hasn't gone back yet but do have some deliveries to go out, but you know, they, everybody can wait. I took who needed hay with the, oh, I hate to say it, with the, with the blue truck. Oh, anyways. So yeah, I was just looking, the roof is in dire need of repair. So many repairs. The one downfall of not starting from fresh, but there's a bunch of benefits, I guess. So, anyways. 
Why do you look all upset now? What? She looks upset. You know what that means. I was, what? No. You were deep in thought? No, I was like zoning out a little bit. Also, I had an itch on my hand that I was... Oh no, not the itch. I think we might run the golf cart down there. Yeah. Pay for an, a, a uh, handicap shuttle. <laughs> do we have to have a handicap parking spot? No. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think so. we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. Go uh, we're just, you know, selling sunflowers. So, anyways, we're gonna go. Uh, I think t tomorrow morning we're gonna finally move some hay. Um, feels like forever, but anyways, y'all check it.